Okay guys, today's video is going to be on how to create electricity. Now, here we go. We've got Magneto here. First thing we're going to do is create a new layer, as you can see on the right here, create a new layer. Create that, and then basically what we're going to do, make sure we've got it clicked, not the background, got that one clicked. Don't have to worry about the background picture at this stage. Now, there's a little trick here. This is how you make electricity. On the left hand side here, you've got the gradient fill, the gradient fill, where if you click on it, you've also got the paint bucket tool. 3D, don't worry about that. We want the gradient fill for this one. And because this is the interesting part about it. On the bottom left here, we've got black selected, that's good, and white as background. That's fine. Now, what we're going to do, well, we've got this selected, the gradient fill. From the left to the right, drag your mouse and let go. And that's what you get. Now, I'm just going to go a little bit further because I want this line to be more or less like towards the middle. So I started there before. So I might start from here to there. See if we can get it. Oh, we're getting close. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Now we go up to filter. And I've just done this already, Phil. Uh, you go down to what they call render. And then you go down to different clouds. Bang. Look at that. And you got this dark, looks like you've got a face there with two eyeballs. Um, but you get that zigzag pattern going in the middle there. It's quite interesting. I don't know how it does this, but it's quite interesting. However, if you do that again, filter, difference of clouds again, the whole thing changes. See? So we won't go there and do all that. We, we can use all that, but no, we're not going to use it at this stage. So we undo. We'll just leave that as well. Right. Now, the next step, what we're going to do is go up to image, um, image adjustments, and we go down to invert. Click on invert. And we've got that white, bright line here. Now, the thing is, what we've got to do now, we've got to adjust the levels so that all the blackness goes and we get that little white line coming up. So again, we go to Image, Adjustments, and go to Levels. There it is just there. All right. Now, you've got this little window popping up here. Watch what happens to the image when I move this. The middle one, we'll start moving it to the right, and look at that. It's like a Frankenstein movie thing. That'll do. I mean, you can go for all the other adjustments and do everything else and get a little bit further in and further out. It's just too much. It's going to go for that at this stage. Okay. Now, after this, what we're going to be doing, we're going to start moving the background. But before we start moving the background with the eraser tool, just go on the left hand side here, just pick the move tool. Okay. Like that. So we're in the transformation mode. See that blue line right around the whole entire image? And what we're going to do, we're going to flip the image around. So we go up to image. So edit. Transform. Then we go down to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, so you get an idea what's going on here now. Right. That's it, that's good, that's cool. So just hit the lasso tool, anything like that, just to click it so it's, it's not selected anymore. Now, what we're gonna do, come over to image again. We're gonna colorize it now. Adjustments, go down to hue and saturation. Now it's in black and white at the moment, so what we're gonna do on the right hand side of the colorized screen here, we've got a preview of colorize. Click on the colorize, straight away it goes to color. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom out so you can get a bit more of an effect here. With the hue, just start changing it all the way up to, and I'm going to just go for a blue. So a too much there, that'll do. And the saturation, because I want electricity. Look at that. That's really coming out well. The lightness, I'm not going to muck around with because it's a bit too fake. Okay. Now what I've got to do is just get rid of all the black background and then resize this so that it fits into Magneto's hands. So we get the eraser tool and select the brush nice and big. That's a soft brush. Hardness is right down. 
I'm just seeing so you know what I'm talking about here. So I've got a nice blurry brush and take that right up because I've got a pretty big size here. It's a thousand pixels across the, the width, so it's a pretty big image. So harden this down. I can't let it all be off for that. Now I'll move that out of the way while we've still got the selected. Start clicking on it and start removing bits and pieces. Now the thing I really want to get here in this image is just all that main part just in the middle here. So everything else I'm just going to eliminate, get rid of, get rid of that. I'm not going to go too close to the electricity what I want because I want that to blur out a bit. Okay, so I'm going to go right across the bottom here. Now the good thing is, especially with movies, uh, if you've got a picture from a movie and you're doing something like this, you know, for whatever, it could be multimedia stuff, whatever you're doing, I don't know. Um, a lot of the images are dark. So whatever you do to the image, add to it that's bright, is really going to show up. All right, so now we're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. Now we'll go straight to the selection tool. And what it does automatically, it's selecting all this stuff at the top here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the lasso tool. Go around that. Get rid of it. Click on the... Oh, look, we've still, we've still got stuff up here, so we're just going to get rid of that as well. Sorry about this, but um, this is what happens. Oops. Oh, I'm going to do that again. Now make sure I've got that one selected. And just got a little bit of blue there. I can use that. Click on that. So the bottom bit here, I don't want this. So we'll get rid of it. Cut. Just a little bit of blue. Right, so we're getting there. So it's not in there. Now, tricky part. I think we're going to have... That should be good for that side of the hand. Now, with the transformation, instead of just clicking like this, because it does it all as one, um, hold in the shift key and you can adjust it. So I'm just going to adjust it to the side like that. I'm pretty sure a little bit down, I think, might do that. That'll do it. That will do that. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to zoom in. Here's the eraser tool. I'm going to take it down in brush size. Right inside here, take it right down. Still got it nice and soft as well. So I'm just going to go around like this. So it actually blends into his hands. So it looks like it's actually coming off his hands. Hold down the spacebar key. And you can move the whole image across. All the layers is included. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere here. Might have been that bit, yeah. Sort of like that. So that is good. Now I'm just going to zoom out. And I'll just zoom back in again. With the eraser tool, the little black area is just in the middle here. I'm just going to go around them a little bit more. Now what I usually do if I'm going to do something like this, see how it's quite detailed on the inside. So I want to blur the image a little bit. So I'm just going to go right click on the layer. I'm going to go duplicate layer. Doesn't matter what it's called, anything. The back one, I'm going to unclick the top one. You don't have to do this, but anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to blur the background layer there. Go up to filter, and then go down to blur, the Gaussian blur. Right, and it gives us a bit of a preview here what's going on. I'm just going to take the radius up a fair bit, so it's got a good blur to it. So that'll do. That'll do. Now click on the original layer and see it's got a little bit more detail in there for blurring everything else. It's a lot better. I'm just going to go back to the brush, put the hardness right down. I don't want any dynamics and stuff like that. I'm just going to blur around that a little bit more. All right, guys, so basically that's how to put electricity in between your hands. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.